in Bartow County, Georgia. A dozen people taken to the hospital after a 27 car wreck. This is video from GDOT cameras showing traffic at a complete standstill for hours uh, tonight as crew, emergency crews shut down Interstate 75 just outside of Marietta. Bartow County EMS says the pileup is a result of rainstorms in the area. We do not know how serious these injuries are. As soon as we do, though, we will pass that along. Cutter, obviously, mm -hmm. this shows the dangers of weather. So people getting out on the road tomorrow morning and, and, and yeah. this week, what, what can they expect? I think much better tomorrow. We may have some patchy fog in the morning. As we look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast, again, no major issues expected out the door in the morning. Uh, but if you are an early morning traveler, as has been the case the past few days, the past few mornings, be aware you could run into some patchy fog. Now, this is only something I'm watching 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. We drop the fog, increase that sunshine heading later in the morning. But out the door early, uh, kind of before that sunrise time frame, we're talking good visibility here along I-95. But you trek inland here, uh, 16 westbound, the Highway 84 quarter, uh, US-1, and off to the west. You may encounter some locally dense fog. So what I mean is not everyone's going to see fog, but where it is occurring, it could be a little bit dense. Again, we dropped the fog by 982, and we are up to 89 warm degrees by 11. Another warm day coming up tomorrow. High temperatures across the region. We are going to be 96 in Baxley, 96 in Jessup. A little bit cooler here at the beaches. Notice the oranges, but we're hanging on to mid 90s tomorrow afternoon in Savannah. Average high closer to 90. So we're above average once again. Middle 90s inland. A similar but slightly cooler story for the low country. 94 in Hampton, 94 Estill, 92 Hilton Head. Why? We have a weak cold front moving through, and I think it clears the low country first coming up tomorrow afternoon. So it's still going to be hot, so going to be a little bit humid, but the improvement begins for some of us tomorrow. We're switching gears here just a little bit, looking out in the tropics. We have a few things to track here. First of all, Fiona has been downgraded to a tropical depression. We are watching Invest 99L and we are watching Invest 90L. All the Invest means that the National Hurricane Center is investing technology and resources into watching these. And I think for us especially, we're going to be watching Invest 99. This is just now approaching the Lesser Antilles. Not very impressive, likely won't be impressive for several more days, but the reason we are watching this is because forecast models, the data we as forecasters look at, uh, continues to bring this off in general to the west and northwest. Of course, who is northwest of that area? Uh, well, the United States and other interests in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that. Of course, right now, development still does not look that likely here over the next three to four days. Beyond that, we'll, be can, uh, we'll continue to watch it, but no impacts are forecasted here locally. Looking at the seven-day forecast, a 30% chance for showers tomorrow in the afternoon Tuesday, a greater chance for showers as the cold front continues to kind of slowly migrate through the area. Not a morning problem, 713, mostly dry. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms do develop during the afternoon, especially west of 95. So that's the rain chance we are tracking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Notice it is a little bit cooler in here, especially Thursday morning temperatures. I talked about this on Facebook, okay, going below 70 Thursday morning. This is what morning lows may look like area wide. 70 in Hazelhurst, 69 in Baxley. You get further to the north, middle and upper 60s here, both sides of the Savannah River Thursday morning. So again, that's a possibility we're looking at right now. And I am forecasting that. So bottom line, more comfortable. Also bottom line, we are not forecasting any tropical impacts here locally. Want to get that point across, but we are tracking it for changes and we likely will be a little bit busy here in the Atlantic for the next couple of weeks. Low morning temperatures means morning runs easier, more yes, variable. Yes, and a little bit more comfortable, hopefully a lower AC bill. I don't complain. Thanks, Cutter. Georgia